Hey guys, of course you know what Litecoin Cash is, but you know what Hive Mining is and how to do it. Hive Mining is the latest innovative feature of the LCC blockchain, which allows any coin holder to mine blocks and secure the blockchain while doing so. Hive Mining doesn't require special hardware and consumes no more power than what your computer would do in normal operation. Before you get started with Hive Mining, understanding a few basic principles will help you succeed and they are explained in this video. Mining on the Hive requires the LCC Core Wallet and you can download it from the LCC website. Just go to litecoinca.sh, click Wallets and choose Full and select the wallet that suits your operating system. In this video, I'm not going to show how to install and set up the wallet, but if you're having difficulties, please go to one of our community channels for support. Links to both our official website and places to seek assistance can be found in the description below. Don't hesitate to reach out. To start Hive Mining, you open the wallet and go to the tab, the Hive. The process of buying bees is easy. You simply enter the number of bees you want and click Create Bees. Above the field, you will see the price per bee and below you can see the total price of your transaction in LCC. Once you press Create Bees, you will see a confirmation box and if you wish to complete the transaction, click Yes. When you buy a bees, you have the option to send 10% of the bee cost to the community fund. This is a fund to support further development of Litecoin Cash and it is completely voluntary and doesn't change what the bees cost, how many bees you get or how they work in any way. In the lower half of the wallet you will be able to see how your bees are doing. When the first block has been found on the network after your transaction, your bees are on their way and they will appear in the list. So, when they don't show up immediately, this is perfectly normal and just means that they are getting ready to fly. The lifespan of the bees starts with them being immature. During this phase, they can't find blocks and they remain immature for 1152 blocks. That's about 36 hours in block time. As you can see in my list, I already have a few immature bees. But before you create your bees, there are a few things to consider. The way hive mining works is that at every proof of work block mined with ordinary mining hardware, a bee has a chance to find a block. There can be any number of bees on the network and to get an idea of your own current situation, you can see your hive weight in the left bottom corner of the wallet window. The number is a representation of how large a part of the global bee population you have. You can also use the global index right here, which is basically an indication of how the global competition among all bees currently is on the network. A high index, close to 100, means that there are many bees on the network and strong competition. A low index means that the chances to find blocks are better. So, before creating bees, you should always look at the global index and consider if the time is right. Another way of deciding when to hive mine is to click show bee population graph. The graph shows the development of the global bee population and tells you when bees mature as well as when swarms will die off. You can use this information to decide when opportunity is there. Last but not least, you should always make sure not to close the wallet or turn off your computer. Once your bees are mature, their ability to find blocks depend on the wallet being online. And if you close the wallet, turn off your computer or lose the internet connection, your bees won't be able to find the blocks for you. To make sure it's connected, you can check this tab under Help, Debug Window, Peers, and the list will show your current connections to the peer-to-peer -peer network. For more information, you can join our Discord channel, Reddit and Facebook page, as well as our Telegram channels. 
Links can be found in the description below. Thanks for watching.